Welcome, pilots! This video is part of my guide detailing every high security combat site. In most of these videos, you'll see me flying an assault frigate called the Ishker. This is mainly because it's my favorite ship to fly, but it does quite well in this site in particular. Combat anomalies appear in your probe scanner window, and you can warp to them immediately. The Garista's Refuge is a combat anomaly found all over Caldari space. While it can be difficult for brand new pilots, it's fairly quick to run once you get the hang of PvE combat, and it has a reasonable potential for some great loot drops. If you're a new Caldari pilot looking to improve your PvE combat skills, this can be a great site to start testing yourself. The site comes in two different configurations. The first configuration has a series of freight pads and two storage silos. The second configuration has a single large cargo rig. In both configurations there are five waves of Garista's frigate, corvette, or destroyer NPCs. The first configuration with the storage silos will only have up to three NPCs in each wave. The second configuration with the single cargo rig can have up to six NPCs in each wave, which can make it take a little longer to complete. If you're lucky, a bonus wave may appear with a destroyer identified as a Dread Garistas. The Dread Garistas NPC will always drop a Dread Garistas silver tag, and either 1,000 Garistas light missiles or rockets, or 1,000 rounds of Dread Garistas small charge ammunition. If you're even more lucky, it may also drop a Dread Garistas module, a crystal or hydra implant, or a single run blueprint copy for a worm. These are the prizes you're hoping for, if you're out looking to make some ISK. Destroying all NPCs also has a small chance of escalating to a Garista's Scout Outpost, which is normally otherwise found by probing down combat signatures. Escalations will appear on the Exploration tab of the Agency window. A ship like the Ishker, fit with railguns, is capable of running this site in two to three minutes. For newer Caldari pilots, a Merlin fit with railguns, or a Kestrel fit with light missiles, works almost as well. Almost any frigate or destroyer is capable of running the site quickly, with tactical destroyers being the most efficient. Many larger ships can actually be a detriment, as their lock times tend to be too long to compete against frigates or destroyers. If you're out in a cruiser-class ship or larger, I would recommend either an Orthrus or a ship with a supply of auto-targeting light missiles. While recording the footage for this video series, I kept track of the statistics for 100 Garista's Refuge sites. Over this period, five of these spawned a Dread Garista's Pirate. I was quite surprised that none of these dropped anything beyond the faction ammo and tag. Four of the sites escalated to a Garista's Scout Outpost, though I only ran the two of these that spawned in high security space. I'll be detailing the Garista's Scout Outpost site in a separate video, but for the purpose of detailing loot drops, these were my statistics. The best result was the Pythum C-type multi-spectrum shield hardener, which is pretty much exactly what you're hoping for. Stay tuned to Riley Entertainment for more EVE Online combat site guides. In high security Caldari space, you'll also find the Garista's Burrow, Hideaway, and Den among the combat anomalies, as well as combat signatures named the Garista's Hideout, Lookout, Watch, and Vigil. Other NPC pirates include Rogue Drones, the Serpentus, Angel Cartel, Blood Raiders, and Sancha's Nation. Throughout 2020, I completed my guide for the High Security Serpentis combat sites. If you find yourself in Galant space, you can check out those videos right now. You can find all of my EVE Online content in the gaming section of my website over at RileyEntertainment.com. This includes sections that I'll be expanding upon in the coming months for high security combat sites, and the Cosmos missions and sites.